Tehuantepec, cradle of Mayan civilization and the gem of the empire, was the home of Tatamakli, guardian of the stones of the resurrection and high priest of the temple of the cruel mother of the earth, the goddess Coatlicue, she of the unslakable thirst for blood. It is written in the secret books of the temple that on the day of her resurrection, Coatlicue will rise up like a plague, attacking humanity and drinking its blood. It is also written that upon her rebirth, she will give her high priest the strength and glory of immortality. On the night of the 21st day under the sign of the eagle, the stars aligned themselves, and Tatamakli, disobeying the king's orders, began the sacrificial ceremony that would enable Coatlicue to arise from the dark world of the hereafter, whither she had been exiled by the wrath of Kukulkan, the supreme god. Once Coatlicue's bloodlust had been momentarily quenched, all that remained to bring about her rebirth was the sacrifice of the seventh victim, the immolation of the virgin priestess of Kukulkan, Ixchel, the beloved. Please, give me this joy, my lord. The king, somehow, had been informed about Tatamakli's plans. The royal guards rushed into the sanctuary to stop the ritual before it could be completed. serve the body of the high priest and ensure his later return to life, Xil Baba, the priestess, did not hesitate to enter the world of the undead, men and women ripped from life at an early age. These damned souls wait impatiently throughout eternity for the day they will arise again to life and to vengeance. My lord, we must separate now, but we will meet again in immortality.
Barclay was to remain sealed in his coffin, undead, until the predestined ones came to free him. Then he would arise from the tomb to complete the sacrifice that had been interrupted ages before. How do we recognize Professor Santos? I don't know. Maybe he'll recognize us. Which one of you is Professor Tom Langley? Huh? Hello. Uh, well, I, uh, that's me. Ah, I'm Santos. Professor Joaquin Santos. Your guy. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, appearances are sometimes deceiving. <laughs> right. So what do you say we start the adventure with a uh, nice drink? As far as major metropolises go, I wouldn't exactly call this place the end of the rainbow, but they do make a fabulous tequila. Thanks, Professor, but we're really tired and we'd rather go to the hotel. You don't know what you'd be missing, sweetheart. A nice drink and you'll be sleeping like the angel that you are. Thank you, Professor. It's been a long journey. As you wish. Follow me. Huh. Buenos dias, amigo. These are our visitors. I'll be showing them the ruins in this country. They'll be sleeping here tonight. You mean the passports? Passports, right. Here they are. Hey, senores. Huh? No fun and games at night. No parties. Up and down the stairs. Some people like to get their sleep. Everything we've heard about Latin American hospitality might as well believe in the tooth fairy. Oh. Everybody's so nice in this place. Yes, we can be very accommodating. Really, just ask. Everything comes e. around eventually. Well, see you in the morning then, Professor. Here in the lobby, say, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock sharp it is, Professor. Have a good day. Ditto. Handsome man in his youth. I don't think he's so huh? old. Maybe things haven't been so easy for him. And he didn't get what he deserved. And how do you know? Maybe he did do something wrong. But who are you to, to judge him? What's the matter with you? Nothing. We're off to a good start. Does anyone have anything to say about the distribution of the rooms? Uh, yeah, me. I'd prefer to sleep with her. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm with Sarah. You're with Marisa. Will that be okay? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Win some, lose some, huh? Do you want to sleep with me? <laughs> Perhaps some other time. Not. Ugh. I'll take this bed if it doesn't matter to you. Sure. Okay by me. 
Don't think Marisa has anything against you. She had some problems in the past. And she only got herself out of trouble by a real miracle. Really? How'd you know? Keeping a secret in our university is practically an impossibility. The minute she set foot on campus, Sarah, everybody was talking about her. She was jailed back in whatever city she comes from in England. And I don't know how many times she was in and out of our local hospital for an overdose. A really ugly history of drugs. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Ah! Ah! A, a cat scratched me. Oh, it must hurt like hell. Nah, it's nothing. Better disinfected. In this country, a person can really get tetanus just by breathing the air. No, I don't need anything. Look, it's almost stopped bleeding now. Hey, what are you doing there? I'm sending these pictures to my parents. But you just arrived. Yeah, but I have a little sister, nine years old, who collects my photos. Really? Yeah. It's a real obsession with her. At her school, she tells everyone that her sister is a future world-famous archaeologist. Hmm? <laughs> is everything OK? Well, I could use a good shower. Oh. It was disgusting. Why do we need a map? We've got a guide. Are you calling that semi-alcoholic scarecrow a guide? Our university's with it. So if they've chosen Professor Santos as our guide, he must be someone very competent. What? And remember, clothes don't make the man. Yes. I always say the same thing to the girls. But guess what? They don't believe me. <laughs> clothes are not your problem. It's what's underneath it's so disappointing. Would you mind? You shit. Guadalupe. Sorry, Professor. Can I ask you, how many days are we scheduled to stay at every site? Mm -mm. Our plans are not definite. It depends on whatever it is we're going to find. So, what should we do now? Shall we go out and paint the town red? <laughs>
Seven o'clock already. He's not here yet. Yes, and you said seven o'clock sharp. Wow! Hey! Hi, hey, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Hasn't anyone ever seen a woman in this shitty town? Uh, keep it cool, ladies. Come on, maybe the owner knows where Professor Santos is, huh? Excuse me, you know that man who brought us here yesterday? His name is Joaquin Santos. Hello? Hello? I don't know him at all. He's a stranger for me. I see him yesterday for the first time. I can't believe it. It looks like we've been screwed. Now? What do we do? Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Let's talk outside. Now that we're here, I say let's go ahead. And where, without any guide? Maybe there's someone else here who can show us around. The professor's calling the university. Let's hear what they have to say. I understand, yes, I understand. Okay, thank you, bye. So what did he say? So? They don't have anyone to replace oh, Santa. Oh, no! They'll let us decide. We can go it alone or stop here. Hey, look, that's not funny. Let's not kid around about this. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry, but I spent four months just preparing for this fucking thesis. I don't want to come back home without anything. Okay, hey, kids, let's nice. try to calm down and keep this on a reasonable yeah. level. So this is not a shouting match. Understand, all of you? Hey, vosotros. Yes, sir? I just thought of somebody who might be able to help you. She's a healer. Everyone calls her Bruja. She knows everything about this town. Perhaps she can find you a guide. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Let's go. The way I see it, we've got nothing to lose, guys. Let's go see Fine, her. Fine, but where is she? Yeah, Calle Guzman, well. number five. <laughs> Stay the head. It's not far. This must be it.
work. Uh, she's a healer. <laughs> she looks a bit crazy to me. Come here, Viola. Give me your hand. Did she do that? After what she did with the little girl, this is nothing. I'm scared. Let's get out of here. What are you looking for? Well, I'm an archaeology professor, and I'm here with my students for a study on Mayan civilization. We were supposed to have a guide who would take us to the historical sites, but he disappeared, and I... I know. <gasps> professor Joaquin Santos won't be able to help you anymore. How do you know him? Do you know where we could maybe find him? Let me do the talking. What do you mean by... He won't be able to help you anymore? He's dead. Oh, shit. I don't feel so good. Oh. Let's go. Where are we going? I don't know. from here. For Christ's sake, we're not on the LA San Francisco highway, and in this fucking place, we have to thank God for any kind of road. What a mess, I can't keep up with anything. I'm lost, yeah. This is a long time ago. <laughs> God damn it, Hector. Did we take the wrong road? From here, we go on foot.
Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not trying to be impolite, but could you please tell me where we're all going? To the temple. She's nuts. Listen to me, let's go back. She offered to guide us, Mick, and for free. Yeah, at least she looks like she's sure of herself. Too sure. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's go after her before she disappears in the jungle. Come on, come on. Okay. Is lost. Well, why are we following this fucking witch? Sorry, madam. Can you tell me where we are and where we're going? The place where we are headed isn't on any map. That's impossible. This map is quite up to date. The goddess court Liquis Temple has never been found. Andale, muchachos, rápido! What did you say? An undiscovered temple? That is one weird lady. Yeah, did you know this? She talks funny but with no accent at all. Yeah, she does like she's wow. from, I don't know, Milwaukee. <laughs> Even her Spanish sounds funny. <sighs> did you guys notice? What? The birds? They're not singing anymore. <laughs> they must be tired. Anyway, would you sing in this kind of place? <laughs> huh? Have you ever had a harder archaeological expedition before? I'll tell you. So far, this one is a piece of cake. What are you doing? Would you trust that old witch? She's not a witch. She's just a sensitive. Ask Viola. She's sure of it. Of course you would. She's always been fascinated by the occult. Viola! Sarah! Ah! Help me! Give me your hand! Oh my god! Give me your hand! A tree branch, something! Smile. 
Watch the party. Oh. Look at me. Come on, say cheese. <laughs> Why did that dirty hag wait so long to pull me out of that disgusting mess? Maybe she wanted you to see how it feels to be in front of heaven's door. You shit. <laughs> Why did she stop? <laughs> Don't tell me our psychic has really lost her way. Would you stop, you idiot? Oh, wow. Stay close behind, kids. Right. on Earth. Or maybe the mythical Shangri-La, the Valley of Eternal Youth. No, this has to be El Dorado, and we'll find enormous treasure. This is the temple of the goddess Coatlicue, Doctor. Some 2,000 years, men have been searching here for it. No one knows the hidden secrets of this ancient temple. This temple will be a symbol for my students. And make them devoted to studying archaeology. Huh. Ah, yes. The symbol of sacrifice. Huh. Look, I can tell you something. What do you think, Tony? I'm really tired. With our professor's permission, I would read a few lines to you. And they will explain something about the goddess Coatlicue. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Patrick. On the day when the celestial bodies were aligned under the sign of the eagle, Coatlicue, impelled by her arrogance, dared to rebel against Kuku Khan, the father of the gods. Kuku Khan's anger was so mighty, the rebellious goddess was relegated to the island of the undead and doomed to spend eternity in that hell. Still today, surviving Mayans tell the story as handed down by their ancestors. Yes, and it is further written that Coatlicue will rise again from the bottom of the darkness like a plague ready to strike those who buried her alive. At midnight, on the 21st day of the constellation, of the eagle. Well, according to the Mayan calendar, and a few calculations I did, we are in the sign of the eagle. And today, being the 19th day... Stop with your silly stories! You're scaring us for nothing! 
field. Huh. It's just a legend. There are so many superstitions in the field of archaeology. We're scientists. We're looking for objects of great historical value. We can't, we can't allow ourselves to believe in these ridiculous stories. Don't you think so? Huh? Hmm. Sure. Okay. So beautiful. You drive me crazy. Really? Show me just how crazy you can get. Rose, where are you going? Wait. Come back here. <laughs> Quit playing games. <laughs> where are you? Where are you? Are you having fun? Yes! Well, guess what? I'm not. <laughs> oh, Rose, thou art sick. <laughs> uh, this may come as a surprise to you, but making love is a lot more fun than playing hide and seek. Lame. Like your brain! Lights out, <laughs> goddammit! You're back early. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> hey, Sprout. I bet I can guess what you're going to be dreaming about tonight, huh? Sleep all right? <laughs> Pretty well. Okay, breakfast. Where are the eggs, Benedict? Yeah, Are there one. any bagels left? Here you go. Just Thanks. One. 
I must say, Everyone this service ready? is kind of loud. Should we bring our knapsacks? Yeah, I guess so, but bring only what's necessary. This is a good place for the camp here, since the temple is so close, huh? Remember your yeah. flashlights. Yeah, yes. of course. Did you say Hello? of course? <laughs> you hey, can get your elbow full hey, and attach Come on. your shoulder. Smile. Uh, you don't know. Patrick. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's get a move on, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the great Joe. The camera. Hey, Joe, want some coffee? No, thanks. Everyone ready? And what about our dear little witch? Shall we wake her up? Wow, we're forgetting our guide. Maybe she's resting in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody better wake her up. Morning, ma'am. We're going to the temple now. Can you hear me, ma'am? Maybe she's deaf. Great. She's rude, stinky, and even deaf. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> Shut up, you fools. <laughs> Try to open it. Uh -huh. There's no one here. She's gone. Where the hell did she go? Maybe she's in the temple. Alone? I don't want to waste any more time looking for her. She knows everything. She sees everything. She'll find us. Nick is right. She knows everything. She sees everything. Let's go, guys. Watch your step. It's very dangerous. How do we get in there? Then are we sure we want to go any farther? You know what I think? We can get in from here. Someone's been here. Recently. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, I'll be dead. Look how high that arch is. Kind of square. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. Look where that corridor is. It's some kind of transit. Do you realize, my friends, that we're in a place where nobody has been for at least a thousand years? Can you believe that? And how about that mason? What did you say? Coatlique is the most bloodthirsty of divinities. If she had the possibility of sight, she would see nothing but horror, sir, and her heart would be filled with joy. She would take it upon herself to generate horror in every way. That explains why her eyes are just sockets. I can't. I can't do that. She scares me. Gives me the shivers just to look at her. This is awesome! Do you realize we're the first to discover this temple? Let's yeah. get to work! Yeah, we'll get some sort of prize for this. This is the opportunity you were waiting for, isn't it? After so many years of bad grades. During all those years, I also had a lot of fun. Not like you, buried all day in your books. You stoops are bickering like two little kids. Come on, let's get to it.
Marisa? Sarah? Quatliquis legs sink deep into the ground. According to the experts, it is written that there is a secret compartment there with a temple's treasure. That's bullshit, Patrick. We are archaeologists, not treasure seekers. Tepopek is a myth, one that the local guides use for sneaking and stealing money from American tourists. That's all. Marisa? Sarah? even have any respect for the dead. Of course I respect them. But in a place like this, I'd rather enjoy them. You don't ever have to worry about having a stroke. Why? Because you don't have a brain. Hey, come here and have a look. You see? I'm right. We're under the constellation of the eagle. Look at those signs. And those are numbers. What you're... numbers? I'm crazy about the lottery. We're exactly on the 20th day of the damned constellation. Still after this damned temple's legend, shit. My research leads me to believe that the legend could really be true. Well, I'm gonna go look for something more concrete. Look, look here. Are you aware that there's a fortune hidden in the temple? Really? Here in an underground chamber, an enormous treasure is lying, Nick. <laughs> Don't believe it, chum? Be careful. Skepticism brings bad luck. Wait a minute. Do you really know where the treasure is? Yes. Okay, let's go get it. What are we waiting for? Your mine ancestors sure had a strange way of burying their dead. <laughs> in these lonely tunnels, things that happened in the past exist still vividly today. Suppose. It's really impossible to decipher these glyphs. It takes time, but we will. Look what I found. It looks like a knife. Let's see. Uh huh. Yes. It must have been a sacrificial knife. Where are we? In the chamber used for mummification. Where? In the chamber of life and death. Not interested in the treasure anymore? Come on. there you have to look inside the coffin come on what are we waiting for open it you must open it okay get out of the way i'll do it Mistake. Don't let doubt fill your soul. I told you about that before. So what do you think of me? That I'm stupid? I'm in my fourth year, and I've seen many tombs. 
The jewels are always laid at the foot of the sarcophagus. Then you've never seen a Mayan tomb like now. Watch, Nick. Look closely at the face. Tell me if you see something strange. <laughs> yeah, I see. It has no eyes. He was still alive when they were ripped out. what all that means, Nick. That the high priest of Coatlicue caused his eyes to be torn out of his face. Watch, Nick. That glyph says what I told you before. It was done by his own will while he was still alive. What are those things glittering there? There you have the resurrection stone. It's not here anymore. The chorus. I'm not hearing it anymore. go with Bruja. We have to look for him. No! Where are you gonna go? Don't worry, he'll be back soon. You'll see. Viola, please tell me, what's wrong with you? No! <laughs> You're just tired. We're all tired. Yeah, and the lack of fresh air here. Patrick's right. Go back to the camp and get some sleep. You'll see. You're going to be just fine. I'm coming with you. I've had enough for today. You've got to listen to me, Viola. You're not going to be able to do anything right now. Go and get some sleep, okay? We can even leave our backpacks here. Hmm? <laughs> Come on, everything is going to be all right. <laughs> That 
certainly not like Viola. Since she met that witch, she hasn't been herself anymore. Yes. She could have some influence. Hey, Professor. Marissa, Patrick, and I would like to go explore some of the tunnels. What do you think? Fine, go. But I want all of you here in one hour, okay? Okay. okay. Patrick. Yes? Be careful. You got it, Professor. I guess we've made an incredible discovery. We gotta know everything about this temple. Every detail. <coughs> What's this smell? I haven't got a clue. I swear I'll skin you alive. It's not my fault. Talk to your chum here. She's the one who loves adventure. <gasps> what the hell was that? It seemed like an animal growling. It's probably just a piece of temple falling. It seems to be crumbling apart. Just a beginning. Death is just a beginning. Huh. There is one who brings death. Shit. If you wanted to scare me, you've sure done a good job of it. Can you read Mayan symbols? There is one who brings death. He will never eat. He will never sleep. He will never stop. Where is Nick? He found a little thing down in the tunnels that piqued his interest. Where's Viola? Viola didn't feel well and went back to the camp. Why? <laughs> What happened? What happened? I don't know. We were walking inside a tunnel and something fell on us. So we ran away. Where's Patrick? It must have been. 
been this damn skeleton that fell on us. What was in the past is as strong today as it was then. We got to be very careful. These are his glasses. Maybe he got back to the camp. How could he? He's almost blind without his glasses. Maybe it's better we all get back into the camp. Patrick! 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 We have to keep looking for him. Patrick! There's an animal attacked him. Nick hasn't come back. Don't worry. When he realizes he's alone out there, he'll race straight back here. Knowing Nick, you can count on it. Let's leave here. This fucking place. The temple Please. is cursed. Calm, Calm down. Calm down. Calm no down. need Come to on. panic now. Calm down. For God's sake, what are we going to do? We haven't dare move Patrick yet. Let Bucha take care of him. Yeah, but it's so right. You've got to right. trust her. You saw for yourselves how she cured that little girl and what she did to Viola's hand. What about us? I don't think I could ever go back into that temple. You've got to. We've got to. We have to combine forces to finish our job in a short time. We'll photograph and catalog everything. I said everything. Then we get out of here and we complete our work at the university. I don't want to go back home empty-handed. A great idea. You really do manage to get done here quickly. And we'll be able to make sure no one else gets hurt. Everything will be all right. Let's Promise. go to bed now, OK? I just want all of you to be strong. Strong tomorrow morning. Okay? Okay. Good night. Uh -huh. Good night. Come on, love. Get some rest. This good girl. Hi there. Is everything all right? I heard you arguing. Patrick had an accident. Is he okay? Bruch is taking care of him. What about you? I'm fine, thanks. Try to get some sleep now. Okay? Good night. Mm -hmm. I hope Patrick's gonna be all right. Do you think she's gonna be able to take care of him? Oh, she's Anybody got any coffee? Mm. Yeah, sure. Here. He's resting. Don't disturb him, all right? How is he? Really better. Now, your people are waiting. Shown. We've got to look for him. Joe's right. Something could have happened to him. I'll go. Where? Wait! Where are you going? You can't go alone. Okay. The one to be with Hector is Bruja. She was with Nick yesterday, right? Oh, excuse me. 
Would you take Hector to where you last saw Nick, ma'am? Hmm. Wait! We're coming with but you. But take these along. And be very careful. This temple is full of animals. Spiders, snakes, bats, which can be carriers of rabies. Check out your walkie-talkies. OK, I'm on channel B. Channel B. OK, channel B. Got it. Go. Hurry up. The witch is already gone. I will never get used to these faces. It feels like someone's watching us. Right. Hey! <sighs> Shit. What about now? Where did she go? I have no idea. She's real the bitch. We should split up. Are you insane? We have these. We can keep in contact. I'll go there. I'll take this direction. I'll try this one. Hoping God will help us. There's only a disgusting smell. I'll go on. But I'm not sure it's the right way. Over. Rose here, Marisa. No trace of grandma here either. Just spiders and god awful rats. Out. Hector speaking. Maybe I found her. Marisa doubling back your way. Out. He will. Re... Re... what? Re... Uh, regenerate. Hmm? Himself. And... He will... He will, yeah. Not... Be... Uh, undead. Till I call you. I repeat, wait for my signal. Somewhere in the tunnels. It's impossible to have any sort of communication here. Try to be patient, please. Marisa, Rose, answer me. It's Professor Langley speaking. Rose here. Professor, over. Marisa's not answering. Over. Well, I'm just out of the tunnel. I should meet her soon. Over. What's doing with you? You all right? Well, other than rats 
and uh, Spider, if I didn't find any other dangers, I should reach Hector. Um, over. Okay, just be sure you keep in touch. It's Rose here. There isn't any sign of Marisa. Maybe she's already inside. I'll go there and check it out over and out. No! Tell her to get back! Calm down, Vio. Please, <laughs> calm down! Let's get out of here! 
you here. Go, go, go. Hurry up. Deal or run. For God's sake, move. Run. Oh, shit. Thank God.
just leaving, huh? Get out of here. Passages are always open by pushing a button or raising a sticker. What did I tell you? What did I say to you? Come on! Oh, my God. 
Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> 